Great to have you with us, everybody, live on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan. We've got Steve Smith and Greg Anthony alongside, and our sideline reporter tonight, David Aldridge. Now, here is Russell. Davis sets a screen. The drive by Russell. Kicks it out to LeBron. It's another look. Here's Davis. And it's sent back by George. Those lanky arms and sharp instincts of Paul George pan off. Get that shot out of here. The shot's good from Vanderbilt. Conference rivals Greg butting heads in this one. How does that raise the stakes here? Well, both teams want this one bad. And, and a chance to prove they're the dominant squad. I, I think it's going to get pretty heated at some point here tonight. And here's Russell. Davis sets a screen. Russell left side. Pass to Reeves. Five to shoot. Here's James. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. The acute awareness of LeBron sees the clock running down, doesn't panic. Harden draws the double. Nobody near Leonard. It's good from long range. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Sweet move. Reeves can't hit. Pass to George. Puts up a deep three. And again, it's the Clippers from deep. Excellent decision from Paul George. Knew as the ball was coming, he was firing right away. And it's out of bounds. And they say it was last touch by Leonard. Great energy on the deflection and a good job disrupting their offense. This is called an effort play. Terrific hustle at the defensive end. He goes up strong, but he is met with resistance. I think that surprised him a little bit. In the corner, Harden. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. And again, it's the Clippers from deep. A lethal shooter, Kawhi Leonard, forcing the defense to go out and guard him. We know Greg L.A.'s challenge recently has been finding the right supporting cast for their stars. And they're looking for that perfect fit. And sometimes that's all it takes, you know. It's finding those perfect one or two other guys to get you there. And load management, a term break that's been associated with the Clippers. And Kawhi rightfully managing his return from ACL injury with care. It's harder to build chemistry when guys are out, but it's all about staying healthy for the postseason. Here's Reeves. James Harden picking up that last basket. Here's Davis. Out to Russell. Inside. And it's Davis with the jam. Off the pick and roll, AD used his size and took full advantage. From T, George. And Davis pulls it down. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Here's Reeves. And he uses the glass on the lane. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Now here's Harden. And the jam by Harden. Oh, get up, James. Talk about a guy who scores from all three levels. Out left of the wing. Here's Russell. Down low. James, no good. This is the shot you want right at the rim. He just couldn't deliver. 
and he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And the Lakers get called for the foul. The rare old school center, Zubats knows who he is, a rebounder and defender. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Clippers. Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. And both free throws good for Zubats. Well, we know this, Smitty, for the Lakers, as long as they have LeBron James, they're in a win-now mode, don't you think? Yes, Kevin, and why not? LeBron is still playing at an incredible level, and the Lakers are a franchise that only cares about titles. And it's Davis with the jam. Tough to keep Anthony Davis off the glass. His length is definitely elite. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Trailing by four. And there's the call on James. That's his first foul. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Coming into the ball here, Lakers. Number five. Cameron with it. To the paint. Here's Zubats. Count it. Putting in work. Zubats attacking the heart of that defense. Now James. Drives to the hoop. And the rejection by Harden. Pass to Davis. And it's out of bounds. The Lakers able to retain possession here. And the Lakers making a change here. Now you the lineup for your Lakers. Number Just five to shoot. We have the ball. And the layup is good. And the confidence Hachimura has in himself knows he can score from this area when given the chance. Kicks it out to Leonard. Takes a three. And the three ball is good. Leonard's got nine. Man, he is feeling it from three-point range. All of a sudden, he just can't miss. Here's Russell. Good on the seven-footer. And the instincts there from Hachimura. Notice the overcommitment by the defense and then makes the right pass. Outside Leonard. Jacks up a three. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. He's got 12. And you can tell he's looking for his shot. He just believes in it. You know why? Success breeds confidence. And he's certainly been successful from there time and time again. To the middle. And the jam by Hart. Yeah, they, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. Already ahead by double digits, trying to run away and not look back. And D'Angelo Russell picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Now the Clippers with it. They're on a 14-6 run. To the inside, and it's slammed in by Plumley. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. They established the pace, they made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Now, here's Plumley following the miss by Anthony Davis. Back to Harden, pass to man. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. Plumley with the screen. Leonard. He shoots again. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. And that's pro. Russell gets his man a little out of position and draws the foul. This is his second trip to the line in this one. And last season's numbers show him at about an 83% clip, which is far better than most. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. Time out. Oh, oh. It's the Lakers. Your Lakers, great. 
And so Russell hits them both. And the Clippers, one of the more efficient three-point shooting teams, Greg, in the NBA. And Kevin, really over the last decade, that's been one of their most consistent traits. And it's not just because of talent. They're smart about the shots they take. Now, here's George. Here's Powell. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. You know, Steve, you have to respect a guy like Norman Powell who embraces his role on this team. I definitely do, Kevin. Norman Powell isn't chasing the spotlight. He's working to support his team and really embraces his role on the floor. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Here's Reeves. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. Now here's Hayes. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Greg, looking at the history of the Lakers, they always feel they're a title contender. And they've been to the finals in every decade. Their longest championship drought in L.A., just 12 years. So, to me, the best franchise in NBA history. Injuries have hampered Paul George over the last few years. But when he's healthy, he's elite. Greg, he's still a go-to option offensively who can guard the league's top wings. And as he's aged, he's really embraced a leadership role. In a league full of scores, Paul George still stands out. There's a versatility to his shooting game that just makes him exceptional. Pass to LeBron. Scores for only the second time tonight. Now two for six from the field. Power and persistence. LeBron refusing to be knocked around. If it counts. Plumlee's got his second button. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established a great inside position. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. And he's going to get whistled for that foul, G. That was intentional, but not exactly <laughs> logical. How about pointless to foul there? I mean, I don't know where his head is, but it's not in the game. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Back to LeBron. And they double up James. Here's Hayes. And he goes right over Paul George and slams it down. Oh, forget about going for the long-range bomb to cut into that lead. Just take it to the hoop, my friend. And how brilliant throwdown. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. And Smitty, we know when it comes to the Clippers, they seem to go as Kawhi Leonard go. No doubt, Kevin. The only year they didn't make the playoffs with him, he was hurt. But when he's healthy, they are dangerous. And it's Paul George with the finish. Insane move by Paul George, a high flyer who can create in midair. And stolen by James. Down it goes. That's four made from the field. He's four of eight. You know, it's amazing to watch up close. LeBron, he's just a next-level athlete. Shot and game clock separated by five. George looking around. George double-teamed. Pass to Powell. Here's Westbrook, five on the clock. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Russell Westbrook taking his shot while getting fouled. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. You know, this is not an area where they expect him to contribute. You know, he's a guy that shot below 70% last season. Powell with the steal. Got it off in time. No good on the last second attempt there. Offense, the order of the day as the first quarter comes to a close. 
Clippers lead by eight. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Clippers? They're just They've gotten to the line with tremendous consistency here through the first period. They just look hungrier out there. They don't mind taking the pounding. Westbrook, no good. Lakers trail by eight. And here's Hayes. Pass to LeBron. Six on the shot clock. It's hauled in by George. Clippers leading by eight. It's rebounded by Hayes. And here's the Lakers. Westbrook with the steal. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Spencer Dinwiddie has talked about buying into his role. He says you have to have confidence that's borderline irrational, but a perspective that's very realistic. You've got to know who you are. Kevin, he adds that he's not attempting to be a Mount Rushmore type guy, but a talented player who can help a winning team. That's a good perspective, David. Thanks for the story. And it's Paul George with the foul. That's his first foul. Second team foul. Here's Reeves. There's the triple. It's in. That's his third field goal of the game. He's three for five. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now here's Paul. Pass to George. Just five on the clock. Looks good, is good. Bucket number four from the field. He's taken only six shots. Smitty, who are some of your favorite teammates during your 14 years in the league? Kevin, there's so many. Glenn Rice, Dikembe Mutombo, Ronnie Cycli, Kevin Willis, Stacey Allman, Tim Duncan, Tony Parker, and the list goes on. Here's Reeves. He's got seven. With the drive. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. And now the Clippers on the break. Here's Powell. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. A part of this team's toughness comes from Norman Powell. Unafraid to stick his nose in there. And so Powell nails both of them. Lakers trail by 11. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. A power flush with a long hang on the rim at the end of that. that could be, you know, that could be a catalyst for him. It really could. The offensive rebound. Pass to Tucker. Back to George. And again, no good by the Clippers. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Here's Vincent. Three pointers off the mark. Clippers leading by nine. Here's Tice. Here's Powell. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. And here are the Lakers. Only giving up six here in this quarter. Hayes. And Hayes throws it down. Smart and so unselfish. Excellent find by LeBron. And George with the stuff. Ooh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Yeah, they're going for the throat. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And creating the second chance opportunity there. Wood has a nose for the ball and the length to make the play. Now here's Westbrook. to Tice. Pass to Tucker. Six to shoot. Clippers moving the ball around. 
Here's Westbrook. Rebounded by the Lakers. No one to blame on that one but himself. When you get looks like that, you've got to take it there. Back to Vincent. Stolen by Tucker. And here we go. Fast break. Powell's got it. Active defense by P.J. Tucker. He does a lot to spark their offense with this energy on D. Here's James. Oh, LeBron James, a free train. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. Pass to Tice. Here's Paul. He has six. Here's George. That's tipped. And they recover it. And here's the break. Here's Reeves. And a strong finish with two hands. The quick, powerful hands of LeBron gets the steal, gets them off in transition. Pass to Powell. Outside Westbrook. It's George on the wing. And here's Tice. Now here's George. The rebound by James. Lakers trail by five. Smitty will remember this date, February 8th, 2023, a very special night. LeBron passing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar on the all-time scoring list. Kevin, that record is a testament to LeBron's will. He takes incredible care of his body. At 20 years in, LeBron James still playing at a high level. Here's Davis, and he gets it to go from the high post. Davis has got six. Zero hesitation from AD. Trust in his jumper. Outside Leonard. And finished off by Leonard. Never a bad idea to run the old pick play. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, we'll probably see more of them. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. And so here are the Clippers. After D'Angelo Russell's three-pointer, they didn't go. And Davis sends it back. Great swat by Anthony Davis, giving this team energy. And Russell gets it to go. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Pass to Coffey. Kicks it out to Harden. Buries the long-range jumper. He's got nine. And a large portion of Harden's shots come from the perimeter. And for good reason. He is an absolute sharpshooter. Now, here is Russell. Seven points in the game. Uses the glass to finish the way. Russell's got four points now in the quarter. I mean, that's a good job working the ball inside and getting a quality shot. It's Harden with the drive. Leonard draws the double. Launches it. Man can't hit. There was a mix-up defensively. Left him all alone. He just couldn't hit it. Pass to Hachimura. Russell with a wide open look. Again, Russell missing. Clippers leading by four. Here's Leonard. That one is good again. He's six for eight from the floor with the basket. The power, the length, the ability to finish. Leonard dominant in that painted area. Russell left side. Davis with it. And then jammed down as he goes right over Ibiza Zuba. Entertaining fans and embarrassing opponents. AD showing us what it's all about. Pass to Coffey. Launches a three. A rebound by the Lakers. Here is Davis. here in the second quarter. Watch out and watch your head when AD goes up. Outside Leonard. 
It's tipped. Inside. Here's Wood. Outside for Davis. Fifty-eight seconds left in the first half of the game. And for his size and Steve, when healthy, Anthony Davis is as agile and mobile as they come. That's his secret sauce, Kevin. He has great size and skill, but his ability to move like a guard really separates him from other bigs. Steve, wouldn't you agree the Los Angeles Lakers are one of, if not the most storied franchise in the NBA? Yes, Kevin, the facts prove it. The number one and number two all-time league scores both captured the record as Lakers. That's history right there. Leonard with the ball, picked up by Davis. It's stolen by Reddish. And Hachimura with a clear back to the rack. And Davis puts it in. Anthony Davis is one of those players that can single-handedly win games for you. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Outside Leonard. To the middle. And it's slammed in by Plumley. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Harden outside with one on the clock and the jam by Harden. He takes advantage of them in every way possible. And Greg, he lures them into a trap on the steal and then bang, straight to the bucket. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside and it's working for them. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Kicks it out to Leonard. From deep. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Leonard's got 19 points. Confidence off the catch. That's what makes Kawhi Leonard such a dangerous player. Over in the corner, Reddish. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Harden outside. And Harden with the stuff. Oh, he just punches that one down with a fury. He rubs it in a little deeper with the hanging finish. Leonard with the steal. It's deflected. It's stolen by Davis. Hachimura with it. And it's Harden picking him up. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's about health. When AD is, he's a major force. A nightly double-double threat with incredible length and athleticism. See, this current Clippers group, they're changing the identity of this franchise. Hey, Kevin, you know this. For a long time, they couldn't get right, winning just one playoff series during their first 27 seasons in L.A. Now the Clippers expect to make postseason runs. Outside, Russell. Down low, Davis, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's his first. It's going to be a Mason Plummer. You look at how far AD's come offensively since his rookie year. It's pretty astounding. And so Anthony Davis nails both of them. Because he knows he makes a living at the line, he invites contact and sometimes even initiates it. Harden with it. Picked up by Davis. They get the rebound. And the foul on Cam Reddish. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. Just over a minute and a half had passed here in the third quarter. And the foul call on Kawhi Leonard. That is his first foul of the game. Oh, great defense. They anticipated the play and got there first. 
Lakers trail by seven. Russell with it. Nine points in the game so far. Second shot opportunity. And Davis puts it in. Davis has got 19 points. Making it look easy right there. I love watching AD do his thing from the interior. Pass to Leonard. Leonard draws the double. Shot clock at five. And stolen by Russell. And now Russell pushing it up. No one back to stop him. And it's Hachi Murray in the corner. Outside, Russell. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Amir Coffey. That's foul number two for him. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Here's Russell. Again, the Lakers. Nice little run here to shrink that deficit. But can they get over the hump? This is the tricky part. Having enough left in the tank to finish the job. A three. Pass to Coffee. Here's Mann. And he lays it straight in. Mann's got five points so far. Hey guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Yeah, this offense is rolling. They've been assertive, but they're also playing under control. And it has them in a great spot to take the lead. They love to get a few stops now at the other end. And what's remarkable is how complete Harden's game is. Making shots or making passes, he can create points in a number of ways. Uh, probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that. Defensively, you have to tight up on him or suffer the consequences. Pass to Tice for the three. Vanderbilt with the rebound. Yeah, and they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. It's not just the size of AD, it's the quickness allows him to beat defenders in traffic, forcing fouls. And this is his fourth trip to the free throw line tonight. Had a success rate from the line last year of about 78%. And so Anthony Davis nails both of them. Clippers trail by three. Screen by Zubac. Right side, Westbrook. Back to George. Can they get it? And he drives in. Hachimura grabs the miss. Pass to Reeves. To the paint. Here's Davis. And Davis throws it down. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. That's his first foul. Here's George. 13 points in the game. To the inside. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. And the dunk by Zubox. Strong move by Zubox. He can definitely give you that. Now Vincent still without a basket. Wood sets a screen. Here's LeBron. LeBron going to work inside. And nice touch from the inside. I, I'm a fan of when LeBron just blows his way inside and takes advantage. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. This Lakers franchise, of course, has a lot of championships, but they know that nothing's given. Coach Darvin Ham said that that ring and them banners don't come if you ain't on your thing. You've got to be focused and make every day count. We're talking about championship, championship. At some point, the lip service gets old. You've got to go do it. Kevin, back to you. Got to go do it. He's all about action. David, thank you.
And the second free throw, good. Lakers leading by six. Here's Vincent. Down low. Wood with the bucket. Wood's got his second basket. Hey, whatever adjustments they made at halftime, they are working to perfection. What it was, they are getting better shots, which has gotten them into a rhythm, and they're knocking down everything. Now, here's Tucker. Here's Zubac. Christian Wood grabs the rebound. Here's Reeves. Sinks that one from the post. And it's a 10-point Laker lead. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. It's been a tremendous job of play calling and execution. They just continue to increase this lead. I tell you what, what a good thing that he showed up today because without him, this thing would already be over. Here's Reeves. He's got 13. A shot, no good. Powell inside. Vincent with the rebound. Lakers leading by eight. Pass to Wood. LeBron outside. James Jack hammers it down. Indestructible one. LeBron brushing off contact with the easy deuce. And talking about LeBron James, Steve, he still is on the hunt for more championships. Kevin, that hunger is still evident. He's all about finishing his career on a strong note, which includes winning as many titles as possible. He lobs it up, and Hayes throws it down. Bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley oop. And stolen by James. Oh, we have big move by LeBron. Respect LeBron showing the artistry that other players could only dream of. George, no good. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid range. LeBron outside, off target with his three. And yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. On the wing, George. Pass to Tucker. Right wing. Just four to shoot. Here's Westbrook. Got it off in time and beat the shot clock, but it's no good. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. A, a scene of confusion right uh -huh. there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. All free throws, good from Wood. Clippers trail by 16. The drive by James. And the dunk by James. Explosive drive by James. Knifing up the defense and getting to his shot. The shot by George. Wide open. And again, no good by the Clippers. Let's it go from deep. James misses. Now the Clippers with it. Trying to get something going. It's deflected. Three-pointer. Drills it from outside. LeBron's got 13 points now in the quarter. The three-pointer is a much bigger part of LeBron's game. He's not shy from outside. 